2023. You absolutely can not miss the thriller horror blockbuster. The evil eye is officially here. Old mother jealous of her daughter's youth. Dilute her granddaughter's blood in the middle of the night. Trying to regain her youth. The story begins. There's a flu outbreak in the community. Many children in the building have gotten the flu. Since Nilla's sister is seriously ill, she often has convulsions in the middle of the night. Her mother was afraid that the infection would get worse. So the parents decided to, to take the two sisters to live with their grandmother in the country. Soon they drove to their grandmother's house. Grandmother, who was wrinkled, came out to greet them. But the mother called her by her first name. Grandma's old house has three floors. Nala was depressed to find that there was no signal here. At that moment, she heard her grandmother and her mother talking in the study. It seems that there is something secret between them. In the evening, the housemaid prepares dinner. During dinner, her parents are close to each other. But grandma was not happy about it. She felt a little jealous. The three maids took the two sisters to their room to rest. But the sister pestered the maid to tell a story. So the maid reluctantly told a country legend. Once upon a time there was a pair of triplets. Whenever night fell, there was an evil witch. Came to suck their blood for you. Gradually, the third sister felt very weak. The sister had to put a pair of scissors under her bed. Because it was believed that this would scare the witch away. But the sister's condition still did not improve. In desperation, the elder sister and the second sister had to ask the witch in the forest for help. The magician taught the sisters to make Barker. Barker is a magical creature from the darkest corner of the Caribbean. It can help others to achieve their wishes. But in exchange for their help, Barker can also bring bad consequences to people. But in order to save her sister, the older sister agreed to the deal, according to the witch instructions. The two sisters buried an ostrich egg in the earth, then they poured goat's blood on it, and after six nights of spells, and out of the egg hatched Barker. Since this thing was available, the third sister's condition improved. The elder sister was fascinated by black magic. She studied with the witch, and so big sister became the witch apprentice. Until one day, she found the third sister's ribbon in the magician's house. She found the third sister's ribbon. She realized that the one who made her sick was the enchantress. The enchantress was a witch, so big sister decided to kill her. At that moment, her mother came in and interrupted the maid's story. She warned the maid not to tell any more nonsense stories. Then the mother called Nala out. She left with her husband for a few days, looking for a cure for her sister. She wanted Nala to take care of her sister. Nala is very reluctant. Didn't want to be left alone to face her mean grandmother. But nothing could be changed. Then her mother went back to her room to pack her things. Grandma was peeking at the door. The old mother was lying at the door peeping at her daughter and son-in-law making out. Her eyes were actually filled with jealousy. The next day after the couple drove away, grandmother walked quickly to her sister's bed with her crutches. She mumbled something under her breath. Then she came back to Nala's bed. Nala was so scared that she closed her eyes and pretended to sleep. Grandma mumbled something in a language Nala didn't understand. Then she left. Nala got up to see if her sister was okay. Then she locked the door of her room. The next day Nala asked the maid how the story of the triplets ends. After Nala begged and pleaded, the maid agreed to continue the story. After the eldest sister found out that the witch was a witch, the eldest sister convinced the second sister to seek revenge on the witch. They found a pumpkin in the witch house. The pumpkin contained the witch skin. Rumor has it that witches can fly when they take off their skins, so they won't wear human skin every day. Through the black magic she learned, she knew that salt could kill the witch. So she sprinkled the human skin with salt. When the witch came back and put on the skin, the witch was burned from the inside of her body. Before she died, she looked at the sisters with a deadly stare. She swore that jealousy would consume them and destroy them. Nella asks what happened. The maid said that the three sisters suffered their last misfortune. Because every time Barker gave a helping hand, he had to give it back. The Barker had taken the three sisters' mother from them. The second sister did not agree to summon Barker in the first place, thinking to end this monster to fix the mistake. But by this time Barker had grown up. It was not easy to kill it. But the second sister ended Barker anyway. After Barker's death, the third sister fell ill again, until the end of her life. The two sisters turned against each other. Soon the villagers found out that they were raising a monster. The two sisters had to flee and were never heard from again. After hearing the story, Nala wondered if the salt could really kill the witch. The maid smiled and said it was just a story, but Nala felt that her grandmother was very strange, so she put a pair of scissors under her bed. In the evening, Nala is hungry and goes downstairs to find something to eat. She found a big pumpkin in her grandmother's house. There was a human skin inside the pumpkin. When she turned around, her grandmother was gone from the recliner. Nala woke up from a nightmare. She saw a monster crouching at the end of her sister's bed. The monster also found Nala. It quickly climbed to the ceiling and escaped through the window. At the moment, the sister's whole body twitched. So it was a dream within a dream. Nala took her sister out to play again. But as soon as she got out of bed, she felt pain in her legs. She threw up urgently. Nala went to get help from her grandmother. She found her grandmother on the phone with her mother. Nala wanted to talk to her mother. Grandma told her daughter that Nara and her sister were playing in the garden. After that, she hung up the phone decisively. Nala couldn't understand why her grandmother was lying. Grandma didn't explain and locked the phone and left. Nala asks the maid, is she like the witch in the story? 
After hearing this, the maid tells Nala not to think about it. Grandma is well respected in the village. Back upstairs, Nala found that her cell phone had a signal. She decided to go up to the attic to check, but there was still no signal here. At that moment, there was a photo album in the corner of the hill. Nala was fascinated by it when her grandmother found it and called her downstairs. She grabbed her phone and stomped on it. Nala said an obscenity and ran upstairs in anger. From the attic to take the album back to the house. Inside were pictures of three generations of grandchildren. Mother, grandmother and grandmother's mother. My sister started to twitch again at night while sleeping. Nala found a big bag bulging out of the blanket. It seemed like there was someone there. She had the courage to lift the blanket, but there was nothing there. Nala went out of bed to check. Grandma suddenly emerged from under the bed. Then grandma reached out her hand. Nala then fell down and passed out. Grandmother licked the blood from her mouth. Then she continued to feed on her sister's blood. When Nala woke up the next day, she found her sister's ankles bloody and fleshy. She was sure that what happened last night was not a dream. Nala immediately gathered her things and prepared to take her sister to escape. But not long after she left her sister collapsed. That's when Nala found the maid's house. Nala rushes to the maid's house for help. But as soon as she entered the house she heard a strange sound. She went up to the second floor to hear the sound. To see the maid and her boyfriend cutting each other. Nala was so scared that she ran out of the house. When she returned to her sister's side she began to convulse. Luckily her grandmother arrived in time. Grandma gave her sister a shot and she was fine. Back in the house, Grandma slapped Nala. Then she put her in the basement. The next day Grandma let Nala out. Grandma's face was covered with a bandage. Grandma pushed her sister out. Her sister was so weak. There was a strange device inserted in her arm. It seemed to be extracting her blood. Grandma tells Nala that your mother told me to do this. At that moment, the phone rang. Nala rushed downstairs to pick up the phone. Before she could say a word the phone line was disconnected by Grandma. Grandma put Nala in the basement again. Nala opened the door with a shovel in the middle of the night and went back to her bedroom to remove the syringe from her sister's arm. That's when Grandma appears behind her. Nala rushes forward with the scissors. Grandma pushed her down. Her sister cried out weakly for Nala, while Grandma was distracted. Nala picked up the scissors and stabbed her in the leg. Then she knocked her unconscious with a cane. She picks up her sister and runs away. The two sisters found a large group of people dancing around a bonfire in the woods. It seems that some kind of ritual is being performed. Nala found that the maid was among them. She called for the maid's help. But no matter how she called out to the maid she did not respond. Nala had to return to her sister's side. She saw the maid wiping her neck with a knife. Then a masked man smeared the blood on the ostrich egg. Nala frightened to run away with her sister. In the middle of a sister again collapsed and did not breathe. But ostrich eggs hatch a bark of, and the masked man is Nala's mother. Suddenly the sister opened her eyes with a jolt. Perhaps it was the birth of Barker who brought the sister back to life. Unaware of this Nala continues to flee with her sister until she collapses from exhaustion. The couple arrives and carries the sisters back to the old house. When Nala opened her eyes again, grandmother blew white powder. Nala instantly unable to move or speak. At that moment her parents came. Grandmother's upright body immediately hunched over. Nala heard the conversation between her grandmother and Nala. Although she didn't approve of what her mother had done to her sister, she was happy that it was working. But the mother thanked her by calling her by her first name. After the husband put the little girl in the car, the mother then noticed the bite marks on her youngest daughter's ankle. The mother found out that the grandmother was sucking her granddaughter's blood. She was furious and went to settle the score with the grandmother, and told her husband that if she didn't return in five minutes, she would drive away with her little girl first. Grandmother poured a glass of blood and enjoyed it. The mother broke into the house. Grandma, however, came behind the door and attacked her. Sometimes plans change. You took my mother and now I'm going to take your daughter. Meanwhile Nella could move. She continued to look through the photo album, only to discover that the three grandchildren were three sisters. Her grandmother had rejuvenated by removing her bandages. She looked exactly like Nilla's mother. Nilla's mother was the eldest of the triplets. When they were separated, the eldest sister continued to learn black magic. She also used black magic to maintain her youth. As mentioned at the beginning, many children in the building where Nala lived had the flu. Actually, they didn't have the flu. Their mother sucked their blood. This caused their bodies to be weak and sick. This time they came back to ask for help from the demons to save their sick little daughter. So they disappeared for a few days. Later, the eldest daughter ran into them in the forest. The mother was casting a spell to give birth to Barker. After Barker was born, the youngest daughter also miraculously recovered. And the grandmother is the second sister who gave up using black magic. Nara saw her oldest sister living a happy life, enjoying her youth and men. Her heart was filled with jealousy. So she sucked the blood of her youngest daughter to rejuvenate. When Nala was about to leave her grandmother will become her mother stopped her and told her. In a while she would move in with us. Nala couldn't stand the horrible grandmother. Grandma pretended to be her mother and got into the car. She couldn't wait to kiss her husband. And Nala took the scissors to her grandmother's room. She stabbed her husband to death. Then she poured salt all over. Outside the barker shook and shook. Soon smoke was rising from the body. Nala washed the blood off her body. Got into the car and went home with her mother. And her sister's condition was completely recovered. It was a medical miracle. 
At night, Nala had an episode. She threw her pants in the washing machine. Suddenly, she heard a roar. She looked for the sound. She found the roar coming from a wooden box. When she opened it, she saw that it contained Barker. Nala was so scared that she stepped back. But she accidentally knocked over a box. Inside the box was a horrible human skin. Then the monster with a different face suddenly appeared. She heard Nala and said you've become a woman. Today is the day you really start learning. Darling, Nala realizes that only her grandmother would call her that. She then realizes that she killed her mother. Maybe that's the price Barker paid for saving her sister.